uh, in this video we are going to see how the instructions are binded to the memory main memory and i say memory it is main memory so first before that we'll see just have a look at this uh, architecture this is the cpu where consists of the internal storage registers arithmetic logic unit and the respective control unit which controls all these things then this is the main memory mmu which we call it as mem main memory unit so here uh, uh, this is the ram and this is connected to the external devices through the io controllers both this is connected to the io controllers through io controllers the io devices are connected so here what hard disk floppy disk cd rom tape unit etc and these are all the input devices uh, and the etc here hard disk uh, what we are concentrating is more on this secondary storage device which generally comes under this so uh, normally we store the program in our c drive or d drive whatever it is so uh, we don't store it in the main memory uh, after doing the work we save the program when we say save the program that is we are saving it in the secondary storage which is nothing but this portion now when we switch on the system again the booting takes place and the operating system is loaded in some part of this ram it started uh, the operating system is also it is stored in the c drive only so when you boot boot the system the bootstrap program finds the location of the operating system in the c drive and started loading it into the main memory so if you say this here uh, the the lower level occupies the operating system so it starts the second from second storage into the main memory the operating system software is loaded then what happens next the user now i am opening a compiler turbo c++ compiler or whatever it is some other program python compiler whatever it is. so those things will be uh, loaded in the next portion after the operating system the available space those things will be loaded then he, if he uses another process that also will be loaded after that and so on so that is how the main memory is loaded with the uh, information or the process from the secondary storage so when uh, a user starts opening uh, the files from his secondary storage they are set to be the collection of this process on the disk that is waiting to be brought into the main memory for execution which uh, is called uh, input queue they will be opened in a temporary buffer and then they will be brought to the main memory so that that temporary buffer is set to be the input queue so before execution the program resides on the disk that is the secondary storage and the binary executable file after that it will be loaded into the ram for execution so when after it is loaded it goes through several steps like compile time load time etc so what are they this is a multi step processing of a user program first the source program then it will be when we are loading it in a compiler we open and load it you know that when you go open up turbo c++ what you will do if i want to load a prime already i have uh, done i have saved some primary number calculations now now i want to open the dot cpp prime dot cpp means i press file open then i find the location in my c drive and then uh, select that file and when i press open that will be now from the secondary storage it will be brought to the main memory first the compiler will be open then the object or the module which is second present in the second memory that also will be loaded so that's what here object module whatever the other object module everything will be loaded by using the linkage editor then finally the load the module if anything is system library say for example i have given an insert uh, import statement uh, math.h conio.h and all so all those things also they are also to be the system library if it is java there also there are many import libraries out there so those will be loaded by the loader and then they will be linked finally when during the execution by the uh, link that is a dynamically loaded system library by dynamic linking so and that we call it as a execution time during execution time they will be linked so binding of instruction and data to memory. now we have loaded the memory loaded the process into the main memory so let us say here this is the main program and then we consist of some statement some statements then some for loops are there some print statement then finally the end 
So address in this pro program are generally symbolic, like this count, zeroth line, first line, second line, third line. So that is what the meaning of this. Address is in the source. This is a source program which the user sees as it is. This I know. This is some language program, and uh, it will be in this. Uh, the, you can count the number of lines like this. So and that we call it as generally symbolic. A compiler. After this, a compiler will typically when you execute the compile the program, what it will do? The lines. that will be the equivalent uh, address in the main memory will be uh, will be uh, generated so a compiler will typically bind these symbolic address what is symbolic address this zeroth line first line second line this is called so uh, to relocatable addresses what do you mean by relocatable address say for example for loop where it starts the fourth line so it will be like the 14th byte from the beginning fourth line from the beginning like that then the linkage editor or loader will in turn bind these relocatable say fourth line fifth line sixth line to absolute addresses say 740 suppose this will be loaded in the 74000 uh, memory address then uh, if it is the fourth line then 74004 if it is a 14th line then it will be so plus 14 Seven four zero 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 plus fourteen, so seven four zero one four. Each binding is a mapping from one address space to another space. Ah, this is one address space. How the user sees this will be mapped to the main memory address space. That is physical address. So address binding of instruction and data to memory addresses can happen at three different stages. One is during the compilation time. Compile time. If memory location, if we know the memory location where it will be stored. How, how my uh, how the user process occupies the main memory? If it is known a priori, then we call it as a absolute code. So it must recompile. If the space, if the program is moved from uh, main memory, so for example, it is at present at this location, then it is moved to some eighty four thousand. Then again, it has to be compiled if uh, the location changes. Then load time. It must generate relocatable code if memory location is not known. Yes, if we don't know at the compile time, then relocatable code will be formed. That is uh, like this. Fourteenth line means then while during uh, load time, seven it it will be generated as seven forty four thousand zero four. If it is stored at seventy four thousand, if this main program is stored at seventy four thousand of main memory, then this fourteenth line will be generated as a relocatable code as seventy four thousand zero fourteen. That fourteenth line. Execution time. Binding delayed until runtime if the process can be moved during its execution from one memory segment to another. So if we are going to move from one memory location to another memory location of the main memory, then it will be binded one day during the execution time. Mostly this will be for the pointers, uh, all uh, uh, link list and all we have seen. While during the execution time only we generate the nodes of link list dynamic. So during the this is mainly for the Pointers. So this already we have seen logical and physical address space. So logical address is how the user sees that is nothing but generated by the CPU. And physical address is the the address seen by the memory unit. So uh, as we have already seen, this is from. Uh, let us take the process one, two, three has this address. Uh, this is said to be the virtual address or the logical address. This is how the user sees. But when it is loaded into the main memory, a mapping will be formed. So that if it is the zeroth line is going to be stored at the four thousand line, the next line one will be considered as four thousand zero zero one, four zero zero one. Then second is four zero zero two, and so on. Likewise, when process two is stored here, the zeroth line is five thousand, first line is five zero zero one, and so on. So this is called this mapping is said to be the physical address space. So this is how the memory unit sees the user process. Address each line address this, with this only it will see. Whereas the user sees each and every process for him it will be from the number of lines which he written. So the runtime mapping from virtual to physical address it is done by a hardware device. This mapping is done by memory unit, memory management unit. So in an MMU scheme the value in the base register now called as relocation register. Is added to every address generated by a user process at the time it is sent to the memory. The user program deals with the logical addresses. It never sees the physical. We don't know where user don't know where it is actually stored in the memory unit. So the user or the logical address 
range from 0 to maximum. Yes, here it is 0 to maximum, his maximum. How many lines here? Say for 200 lines means 200 lines is the maximum of this process. So, 0 to maximum, where the physical address is in the range. So, for example, R, if it is stored in R, uh, base register is R, R plus 0 to R plus the maximum of the 200 means R plus 200. So, R plus R max for a base value of R. The user program generates only the logical address and thinks that the process runs in the log We think only the memory location starts from one in number of lines is 0 to R1 to that uh, maximum line. However, these logical address must be mapped to physical address before they are used. So, for example, example dynamic location using the relocation register. So, here if it is a 346 line of the user, imagine the user has 0 to 500 lines in his process. Then how the 346 line will be located in the main memory? Imagine it is started the user process after loading the process uh, process is loaded into the main memory let us imagine it is loaded at the base uh, 14000 memory address then how this 346 line will be of this user is addressed 1000 uh, that is 14000 plus 346 so that will give the exact location of this 346 line so this is what done by the memory management unit